you know what I'm going to do with this data? I now have what is called a network. And my network looks like this. Do you see the nodes here and the edges? Look at this arrow from this node to this node. It just represents that this person found this person impressive. If A finds B impressive, B may not find A impressive. Correct? Now, my question is, how do you find the most impressive person here in this network? An obvious, obvious answer that we will have is, look at that person who has a lot of arrows coming in. By that we mean, many people found him impressive. A number of people finding someone impressive should not be an indication of how impressive a person is. For example, assume 100 friends of mine says, I am a nice person. That is different from the Prime Minister of India saying, I am a nice person in one of his speeches. Right? There is a huge difference. So, what do you infer? It is not how many people who elect, who vote for you. It's about who are those people who vote for you. Maybe we should consider that, right? So now on this network, I would like to ask this question. Who is the most impressive person? And I'm going to give you a technique to find it. You may not even see why exactly we are using this technique to find the most impressive person. But with time, it will be very clear. Here goes my algorithm. Here goes my technique. What I will do is on this graph that you are seeing the network, I will start from some node and take what is called a drunkard's walk. Also called the random walk. The point is you start from a node, let's say this node, you have so many lines going from this node. Forget about what this network represents. I'm going to play around with this network. I'm going to jump to one of the lines and land at the other end of this line, the point whatever you are seeing, I'm going to land there. But I have so many choices to take, I will pick one of them randomly. And then I jump there. Once I jump there, I mark one here saying that I have seen it already. And from here, I'll jump to another node. Again, from here, there are many lines going out. I will choose one of them randomly and jump there and call it, I have visited this once. I keep doing this, I keep doing this. If I visit a node more than once, I'll make a note of it and call it, I visited this node twice and so on. And finally, I do this, let's say a million times. If I'm not happy, I'll do it a couple of million times or even more than that. And after doing this a million times, I will see how, what is the points collected by individual nodes. And I will look at that node which has collected the maximum number of points. And I'll declare that node as the winner. Why do I do this? What does this signify? You will get to know very soon.